Yeah, good morning, everyone. Uh, really good. Uh, sorry if you've been uh, connecting in. It's not been quite working. We've got a slight problem with the Wi-Fi, but I think that it's all working really well now. Uh, so I've come inside uh, a little bit. And this uh, whole passage isn't about being inside. It's been about being outside and sharing the good news, proclaiming the good news of Jesus uh, to the world in which we, we live and the environments that he places us in. So, uh, yeah, I'm really excited to be able to share this passage from Luke chapter 9, verses uh, 1 through to 9. And um, it's where Jesus is talking uh, to the 12 disciples that he's going to be sending, he's going to be sending them out uh, into their, their worlds, into their communities, and they're going to be proclaiming the good news of Jesus and for all of us, I guess you, you would agree uh, with me that we've been, uh, the church has been deployed. We've been taken away from our buildings. The church isn't closed, but we've been taken away from our buildings. And the church has been deployed back into our families, back into our workplaces if we're still able to work. And back into uh, the real heart of the community, which... Uh, I, I am particularly excited about. So grab your Bibles. If your Bible's on your phone, uh, please don't, uh, don't go off somewhere else, but grab your Bible and open up Luke chapter 9, verses 1 through to 9. Jesus sends out the 12. When Jesus had called the 12 together, he gave them power and authority to drive out all demons and to cure diseases. And he sent them out to preach the kingdom of God and to heal the sick. He told them, take nothing for the journey, no bag, no staff, no bread, no money, no tunic. Whatever house you enter there, uh, whatever house you enter, stay there until you leave that town. If people do not welcome you, shake the dust off your feet when you leave their town as a testimony against them. So they set out and went from village to village, preaching the gospel and healing people everywhere. Now Herod the Tetrarch heard about all that was going on, and he was perplexed, because some of, some, some of them were saying that John had been raised from the dead, others that Elijah had appeared, and still others that one of the prophets of long ago had come back to life. But Herod said, I beheaded John. Who then is this I hear such things about? And he tried to see him. Well, um, yeah, it, it's really good to be able to just share a, a little bit of a thoughts around this. And, and my thoughts is that um, the buildings that we've had as a church in some ways have, have restricted us. And a lot of focus has gone into maintaining our buildings, uh, making sure that uh, uh, we've got this, we've got that, and we, we've got the other things. If you go across the, the world, you see some absolutely uh, ornate uh, churches. But in some places, you don't see um, the church in action. Uh, you just see a building. And, and I think what, what God has really been teaching me is that, that Christians are incredible people. They're people that have got power, as, it, as Jesus says at the beginning of this passage, they've got power and authority in them to drive out demons and to cure diseases. In other words, we've got the power of God. We're filled with the Holy Spirit. We've got the power of God in us. We've got the power of God on us. And we've got the power of God working through us. So be confident in the environment that God has placed you. And sometimes we're restricted, aren't we, when we come into our buildings and I do a bit of preaching, we do a, a, some singing, we, we, we spend some time together. And then we, when we leave, we go, oh, what, what are we to do? What are we to do? Well, just be you. Just be the, the man and woman of God that you've been called to be. And just go and do that. Uh, and be confident in the calling that God has placed on your life. And, and be confident to pray for people. Be confident to bless people. Be confident to love people. Be confident to encourage people because that, that's what this world needs. We need a gospel that is proclaimed, which is the good news of Jesus. And I believe that the church of Jesus Christ today deployed into our communities can be good news 
to our to to the people in our communities. It's been exciting to see uh, the pastoral team and and a whole load of other people involved in so much good work in, in our community. It's been it's it's just been incredible to see the food bank uh, go from one day a week to five days a week it, it's it's just incredible how we're, we're able to to bless people and help people and encourage people but there was lots of questions about it wasn't there that Herod the Tetrarch was concerned well what are they doing who are they what's going on well I, I just want to encourage you just just be the man uh, and be the woman of God that you're meant to be uh, don't be restricted don't be held back but just go out there and get on with what we're called to do as church. So I, I've had enough of talking to you. I've had enough of sitting here in this house. So I'm off now and I'm going to go out and start doing what it is that we're called to do. So I'm, I'm off now down the garden and I'm going through the back gates, which is over here. So getting out there involved and doing things that we should do. So where's my first house? Let's have a look now. There's a street down here. Come on, church, we need to get away from our buildings and get out here and get involved in what's going on in our community. Thank you, Jackie, the church unleashed. You see, you read my mind. God bless you so much for tuning in and thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and we'll speak to you again soon.